july sixteenth our lady of mount carmel not only among the members of the carmelite order but also among an increasingly larger number of the laity is today's feast held in great honor it commemorates an incident in the life of st simon stock in the year twelve fifty one at islesford in england the holy friar was privileged to witness an apparition of our lady in it the mother of god promised special graces for those who would wear the scapular of the carmelite habit in her honor encouraged by this powerful promise many then and now have affiliated themselves to the carmelite order wearing the brown scapular as a sign of their devotion to mary the roman breviary tells us that it is piously believed that those who are faithful to the practice will receive speedy release from purgatory on the saturday after their death in addition to wearing the scapular these devotees observe extra days of abstinence every week offering particular their prayers in mary's honor and keeping the chastity proper to their state in life the great favor expected has caused the promise to be known as the sabatine privilege while the feast celebrated today was extended to the whole church only in the year 1726 devotion to our lady of mount carmel has an older tradition on palestine's mount carmel dwelt the prophet elias at this spot he had the vision of a white cloud alone in the sky ascending heavenward this sight taken as a prototype of our lady influenced others at a later date to devotion to mary on this hallowed spot the canonization and popularity of saint therese a modern carmelite saint and other similar events have greatly encouraged carmelite piety to the mother of god in the year nineteen fifty one the carmelites returned to take possession of the shrine at Owlsford, emphasizing in this way the increasing attraction of the devotion to our lady of mount carmel what is the sabatine privilege the sabatine privilege is a promise given to people wearing faithfully the scapular of our lady of mount carmel and complying with the following three requirements prayer penance and chastity of one's state in life all three are ingredients of a sincere christian life and hence of authentic devotion to our lady the prayer prescribed to gain the sabatine privilege is the little office of our lady which can be substituted for by other prayers the form of penance originally stipulated was not to eat meat on wednesday and saturday as well as friday in our day any priest who can give the scapular and that is no longer limited to carmelites can substitute for abstinence from meat a certain number of prayers most commonly the five decades of the rosary every day given this pledge and its faithful execution the person so committed will be helped by mary's unceasing intercession devout pleadings merits and special protection especially on saturday the day dedicated to the holy virgin as pius the twelfth stated mary is a most kind mother she will not be tardy in using her intercession with god and she will open the gates of heaven as soon as possible